Hey folks, this is IO Aether. Welcome back to some more Bastion. Today we're going to pick up right where we left off last time and continue our quest. Part of the Rivlin walls floated by, so I caught the kid's old knapsack. What? It's hard to sleep easy these days. What with everything that's happened. Zolf. Very soon, the kid's gonna have to face that man again, for the last time. Yeah. So apparently I get to dream now. They met on the worst day of Zolf's life. There in the hanging gardens, he aimed to throw it all away. It wasn't the first time Zolf had nothing to lose. He was born to a simple Ura couple, who didn't last long before plague took him. He grew up hungry in the tunnels of the Tazel terminals. So he took the stealing from a Ceylonian missionary living there. He once got sloppy with his thieving hands. The missionary caught him, but didn't rat him out. Instead, he offered to take him in. That missionary raised Zolf like a gentleman, like he was his own son. Taught him theology, history, and mercy. When the missionary passed away, Zolf promised to continue his work to bring about a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. Zolf started teaching the missionaries wisdom to any Ura who would listen, and listen they did. He advocated tolerance and argued that the Ura should atone for the war. He believed the city had much to teach his people. However, Zoe felt he could only do so much in the Tazel terminals. He needed Ceylandia to know the Ura had changed. He decided to do what the missionary did many years before. He left the city of his youth to brave a savage land. The journey was hard, but he knew how to fend for himself. And then at last, Zolf saw the rippling walls on the horizon. He endeared himself to city folk straight away, and in turn he fell in love with the city and its people. One in particular. This young lady was fascinated by the Ura, but she never met anyone like Zolf. She told him she knew all the city's best kept secrets. The Hanging Gardens was their favorite spot. It was there that Zolf clasped her hands and proposed in proper Ceylonian style. He celebrated with his friends long into the night. Joy and revelry like he'd never seen. Too bad he couldn't remember it all. He woke up alone underground inside the Ura Ceylandian War Memorial, built like an Ura den. But something was wrong. He 
emerged from that hole in the ground into a waking nightmare. Everything that wasn't gone was twisted upside down. The world was frozen, air thick with ash. What few faces he saw on the street stared back at him with gray and vacant eyes. He found his wife-to-be asleep inside her home, but when he reached out to her, she joined with all the ashes in the sky. So Zolf returned to where he proposed in the hanging gardens, and there he stood, as if the gods would answer him. Oh. The kid's gonna be okay. As for that man, who knows? Well, now we know why he did the calamity. Good, or why he did all the rest of this crap. I don't want to go there again. I'm cool without doing that ever again. Oh, uh, wow. Something foul is for my bellows. I don't have enough. Okay, well, I might actually. Defeat a single foe with a single extreme powerful shot from long range. The trigger is cool. The triggers, it is done. My brothers. Bravest men I ever knew. Oh, he was a trigger. Well, that's cool. Large attack range. Cannot move and fire. Okay. Or move faster while attacking. Uh, Dim resistance while firing, cripple enemy foes, last longer. That thing wasn't yeah. always meant to be a weapon, but there's no denying it now. Hmm. Oot, I have completed one. Oot. Okay. Thank you all for watching. This has been this episode of Bastion, and next time we'll pick up right where we left off. Thank you all again for watching. Please do tell your friends about it. That's the best way you can support the channel is by pulling more people into the channel. Um, it's also a great way to get new content. And I'll see you all there as I always throw out. <laughs>